Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I am Chef Marcus Giuliano and I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is the top 50 reasons or top 50 mistakes that restaurateurs make. And uh, I've made all these mistakes and I've corrected them and I'm working on them and I've recognized them and I'm moving forward and I want to share my experiences in 10 years and a small restaurant tripling my business and outperforming the industry odds, the, the national odds on businesses, and I'm here after 10 years, 90, 96% of businesses fail after 10 years. So I'm still here. So number 29, and this goes back in, 20, in the step 24, I mentioned 29, and I'm gonna be very blunt. You don't, people, you restaurateurs do not wait to respond to idiots sometimes. You just don't wait to respond to idiots. And you know, I was talking about doing reviews, and I don't mean to call everybody idiots, but you know, a lot of times customers, the customer's not right, and you know the customer's not right, or they say something, they do something that really offends you, because after all, us restaurateurs, these are our babies, these restaurants are our babies, you know, and we take things very personally. So I have a great practice, it's called a 24-hour rule, 24-hour um, lap, time lapse. If somebody offends me, if somebody writes a bad review, if somebody you know sends me a bad email, or a, a, whether it's a salesman or something, whatever, a customer, guest, salesman, if they do something that I really offends me and gets my emotions going, I wait 24 hours to respond. I put my thoughts on paper, I put them on an email, but I never officially respond for 24 hours. So in 24 hours, your frame of mind, you've put everything in the perspective. You don't want to answer somebody who's irrational, especially when you're irrational. It's not, it's only going to escalate the problem. Wait 24 hours to respond to idiots or to anybody who's really making you upset, whether they're an idiot or not. It's the best, one of the best advices I ever got. A friend gave that to me and it was advice from another friend. I'm sure it came from one of the big business gurus or something. Who knows where it came from, but it was one of the best free advice I had ever gotten. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thanks for watching. I've been running my restaurant Aroma Time for 10 years in the Hudson Valley. I used to be one of those restaurant owners that was married to my business, couldn't leave. The restaurant wouldn't be open if I wasn't here. I didn't trust anybody. I turned everything around. I've been here 10 full years, like I've said. I've defeated all the odds. I opened up this fine dining restaurant, upscale restaurant, in a small, depressed community. Um, I've learned a lot. I've made a lot of mistakes, and that's how I can confidently say I can help you, I can switch that mindset, I can teach you uh, tips and techniques that I've learned by doing it myself and then masterminding with some of the top restaurateurs in the country and marketing geniuses. It's been a great 10 year run. I don't regret a single part of it. Now the thing is, I work on my business. I don't work my business, which is a totally different thing. I can teach you how to do that. It's so simple with the tips and tools and techniques. Um, owning a restaurant can be a lot of fun and I want to show you how to have fun in your restaurant. So please send me an email.